This is Alice. It's a prototype all-electric plane that its maker, Eviation, hopes will be one of the first commercial passenger planes to take off. While there are a few companies pursuing electric passenger planes, many of them are just at the early design stage. But when I spoke to Eviation's CEO, he told me that Alice will be airborne for testing sometime in the next few weeks. Now, this plane has had its setbacks over the years, but if it eventually gets certified, it could offer a way for the industry to decarbonize some of the tens of thousands of short haul flights made in America every year. But the keyword there is some, because right now, battery power has its limits. So, are electric planes about to take off? Let's find out. Okay, first, you might be wondering why the planes that you fly today aren't electric. After all, if we can take a gasoline car and swap out the engine and fuel for electric motors and batteries to make an EV, then surely we can do the same for planes, right? Well, kinda, but also no. See, while there have been some successful attempts and prototypes of electric planes in the past, even by Airbus, there's a good reason why many of the industry leaders are pursuing hydrogen over lithium-ion batteries. And that reason is physics, specifically energy versus weight. Let me explain. In order to get a plane that's carrying passengers and luggage to take off, you need energy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, back down on the ground, if our little car here were to run out of energy, it would just come to a stop. But if a plane runs out of juice, something far worse happens. So when you fly, you have to carry all the energy you need for the whole journey plus reserves with you as fuel. Now, crucially, all fuel has weight, and that's where a bit of a balancing act comes in. Ideally, you want your fuel to be as energy dense as possible, so it packs loads of energy for minimal additional weight. Jet fuel is incredibly energy dense at around 12,000 watt hours per kilogram. But even the latest aviation batteries don't even come close to the energy density of jet fuel. They pack around 1 60th of that at 200 to 220 watt hours per kilogram. It's a huge difference. Not everybody is an aerospace engineer, but it means you're always carrying around a lot of weight. So to make a battery powered plane fly, you need to rethink things like the aerodynamics of the plane, or how much the plane weighs, how many passengers it can carry, and how far it can fly. And that brings us to Alice. Aviation say that the plane has been designed from the ground up to be as light and aerodynamic as possible to try and get the most out of those batteries. There's been 8,200 pounds of batteries in a, in a 16,500 pound aircraft. On Alice, the batteries are stored in the body, which means that the wings, which would normally hold fuel, can be thinner and more aerodynamically efficient. The company has released designs for three different configurations of Alice, from a cargo plane, 12 of which have been ordered by DHL, to a commuter design that could carry nine passengers plus their luggage. Nine passengers is the limit for the number of paying passengers you can carry on an aircraft uh, with a single pilot operations. But this isn't the first time that Eviation, which was founded in 2015, has said that Alice was almost ready to take to the skies. In early 2020, the company lost one of its initial prototypes due to a fire in the battery compartment, which is one of the problems with batteries. They can combust. That event and having that thermal runaway, uh, it actually drove the development of the safety technology that we're using and have designed into our, our battery system. Even if Eviation conducts some test flights soon, the plane will still need to be certified by the FAA, which the company hopes will happen by 2024. So, if Alice works, could that pave the way for all planes to eventually become battery powered? In short, right now, no. Because regulations aren't the only reason that Alice can only carry nine passengers. The other reason is those batteries. Despite all of those design changes to try and squeeze the absolute maximum out of those batteries, Alice can still only carry 2,500 pounds for a maximum of 440 nautical miles. At some point in time on an electric airplane, if you add more batteries, all they're going to be used for is powering your aircraft to carry around more batteries. Unless battery technology sees some huge leaps in terms of energy density, it's likely that if battery power planes take off, they'll be limited to short trips with handfuls of passengers. And therefore, they're unlikely to displace many of the aircraft that fly today that can carry tens, if not hundreds, of passengers. So, while you may be able to hop on a battery powered plane sometime in the near future, it's unlikely you'll be able to go very far on it. Hey, thanks for watching. So do you think battery powered planes are going to take off? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you're interested in the future of how we might be getting from A to B, then don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.